हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल गीक्स फॉर गीक्स गेट कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड डेटा साइंस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर गेट सी एस एंड डी ए विच वुड बी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर गेट एग्जाम एंड यू हैव टू रिवाइज दैम अगेन एंड अगेन सो दैट यू कैन स्कोर यू कैन स्कोर मैक्सिमम मार्क्स इन ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स राइट एंड ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स वेटेज ऑफ ईच ऑफ द uh subject right so let's see so aptitude is consistent throughout 2025 2024 and 2023 22 to 22 as well but engineering mathematics you can see that previously they have asked of four marks in 2022 and 2023 then it gets increased to 6 7 and in 2025 they have asked around seven in one set and another set it was nine right so you can see that they have increased the weightage of the subjects and discrete mathematics we have here uh, like previously in last years they have asked 15 12 5 6 and in set 2 of 2025 it gets reduced to 3 only then we have c data structures you can see that that is of high weightage in last year 10 and 12 marks algorithm it is of 8 marks again high weightage toc 10 and 7 marks and compiler design 66 each uh, in each year database dbms 8 and 9 digital logic 6 and 9 coa 8 and 9 operating system 8 and 7 and computers uh, network is 8 and 6 so this is uh, overall weightage in 2025 and you can just check all other uh, all other uh, years as well right now next i have is c and data structure right in this c and data structure you have the topic recursion and function array and pointer binary tree and binary search tree binary heap hashing these five topics are uh, very important and if you would see that in last years they have asked questions from operator data types and loops of two marks recursion four marks pointers there would not any question but in 2025 set to there was a question of uh, there was questions of three marks array stack two marks in 2025 set to array stack q linked list it is of consist of 6 marks tree hashing set 1 has 4 marks and set 2 has 2 uh, marks so that's why these topics are important for c and data structure now next i have here is algorithm in algorithm the topics are asymptotic notation time complexity recursive Uh, recurrence relation sorting spanning tree tree and graph reversal these are all of the important topics and you also can check the weightage of all those topics throughout last 3 years last 3 to 4 years you can just check the weightage and you would get to know that how important that topic is because we are talking with the data right that we have these weighted but so these topics are important next i have here is theory of computation in theory of computation important topics is regular expression finite automata language class identification context free language and decide uh, decidability and you can see that regular expression they have asked five marks questions in set 1 two marks in set 2 and regular language and grammar set 1 two marks set 2 two, two marks and this contest free language three three marks each right so you have this turing machine they have asked it uh, they haven't asked till from 2023 and undecidability and reducibility they haven't asked from 2022 next i have is compiler design so the important topics which i have uh, which we have in compiler design is parsing syntax direction directed translation and runtime environment so these three topics are important and you can see the weightage of the important topics right the questions they have asked next i have is digital logic so digital logic we have important topics that is k map minimization number system mux and dmux uh, compare uh, comparator and parallel adder and flip flop and counter and again there is all the weightages given for like in past 4 years so this like this all these data is important when you are uh, when you are feeling like you have difficulty in a particular subject so you can just go for the important topics if you are not able to cover the whole subjects right but i just suggest this try to cover the whole subject revise these important topics again and again so that you would not face uh, any problem in exam next we have is database management system in this we have normalization sql and relational algebra transaction and concurrency control and indexing so these four topics are important and again there is a weightage 
uh, then we have this computer uh, organizational and architecture right coa which many of the students find difficult but uh, the important topics here is pipelining cache memory addressing modes machine instruction floating point representation these topics are important and you can see that the important topics weightage is also given so like see cache memory there is in set 2 there are six marks question right next we have is operating system operating system important topics are cpu scheduling page replacement algorithm synchronization virtual memory resource allocation disk scheduling so these topics are important and you can see that 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 is a weightage right weightage is also given and computer network stop and wait protocol gbn sr protocol subnetting fragmentation tcp state diagram and congestion control and then we have routing algorithm and application layer protocol next we have is aptitude so aptitude is one of the important subject which we left so that we will be able like we thought ki aptitude to we will be do uh, we will be able to do it but you have to focus on aptitude because it consists of 15 marks and you have to score those 15 marks right so data interpretation 2d geometry special aptitude and analytical aptitude and you can see that that what they have asked in past years the pattern you can uh, got from here you can know from here engineering mathematics so we have seen that that in past years they are asking questions seven or nine marks from engineering mathematics important topics is eigen value eigen vector system of linear equation maxima minima and conditional probability not only conditional probability there is sub topic of conditional probability that is bayes theorem and law of total probability generally they ask question from that so these are the weightages from past years right so i think these are all the acha we have left with discrete mathematics graph connectivity and planarity propositional and first order logic there is always a question from propositional and first order logic and it is easily doable combinatorics combinatorics if you would study once combinatorics it would be helpful for you in probability as well right so this is important set relation function group theory so this is the whole subject so one question like either they would ask from set theory uh, another time they would ask from combinatorics so this is the pattern. pattern now next we have is data science and artificial intelligence let's go through the topics and subjects uh, of data science and artificial intelligence in data science and artificial intelligence we do not have much of the data we have only 25 24 because exam started uh, from the year 2024 so we have probability statistics 16 marks in 2025 14 in Uh, 2024 linear algebra 10 marks calculus 8 marks python dsa 21 marks dbms 8 machine learning 11 artificial intelligence 11 aptitude 15 so because most of the like we we'll only have here if you would count 7 to 8 subjects right seven subjects and eighth one is aptitude so that's why you can see that most of the subject weightage is two two digit only to left with dbms and calculus because uh, like calculus syllabus is small as well right but you have to study in depth so this is uh, the weightage criteria so if i'll move forward i'll go through the syllabus machine learning so machine learning you have to understand regression algorithm clustering neural network bayes classifier pca bias variance so there was uh, there is always a question on neural network in past two years there is always a question on clustering so you have to go through all the topics once you would understand these algorithms you would be easily able to do that the questions are not that difficult and also we have this artificial intelligence logic and reasoning uninformed informed search conditional probabilities why con conditional probabilities you are already you already uh, study in probability and statistics but this conditional probability you are going to use to work on bayesian network right so just make sure that you guys revise these topics again and again and also we have python and data structures important topics are list string linked list tax queues trees hash table objected oriented programming right and there was 21 marks of dsa right so make sure that you would be cover each and everything dbms and warehousing er model relational model normalization sql queries how to write a query there is always a question on based on query indexing and keys transaction and currency control so just go through all these topics transaction uh, i think that is not uh, exactly in da but you can just check right transaction is not that important then we have algorithm complexity sorting recurrence relation and graph search 
right these are the topics and if i'll talk about um, engineering mathematics so if i'll calculate total of these mathematics and aptitude it would consist of around 55 marks around 55 marks so this uh, has a high weightage and if i'll add aptitude as well so make sure you would go through all the concepts of linear algebra probability statistics calculus and practice questions based on that as well for aptitude we have quantitative aptitude logical reasoning and verbal aptitude right so these are for my aptitude so uh, guys i hope you guys get the information for all the important topics and at last minute you feel like that there is every everything to do so th that's why i have summarized the topic key just go through these topics only you would able to uh, solve maximum question so revise those topics at the end time and solve uh, mock tests right that would uh, let you know all the information if one or two subjects does not get completed till now so don't take stress just do it parallelly uh, also practice questions as well so yeah that's all for this video guys thank you thank you for joining